This video's subject is the model view component. You can think of a model view as if you were to go inside the 3D space, pick a location and look into a target direction. Now the model view component has eight pass-through parameters. You have the view, which is of view type, a title for the viewport, which is text, a boolean value to toggle if you want to use a perspective or non-perspective view. In engineering we want to use the orthographic projections which you get by selecting false on the perspective parameter. Then you have the location plane. This tells us the location from where we are looking and the direction. Next parameter is the target distance. This is how far in the direction we are looking to. Then we have domain parameters for the extents on what to have in the view. This is easier to understand with an example, so let's get to it. Now what is good about the model view component is that it creates this really nice 3D representation of the view, which you can see on the right side. I have given my new view a name. Now I can change the perspective type by clicking on the toggle. Here you can see what I mean with the perspective and the orthographic projection. But if you are an architect, you might want to use the perspective. Here we have the location. This is where we imagine that we are standing inside the 3D model. And we're currently looking down because I am using a point as a plane. By changing these domains, we can change our model view. Now, when I'm using a model viewport and a content cache, I am getting this view that is constantly updating. Now if I change the domain sizes, I will have changes in the viewport. Now for the next part, I am using a draft horse plugin created by Yocam. You can download this on Food for Rhino. Now that I enabled it, it created a new detail drawing. I have selected the new detail component to run automatically and I connect the view from the model view output to the new detail view input. You can then change the display styles or if you want to change the perspective, you can see that we now get the edges of the boxes here. And when we change to orthographic view, we will only see the box tops. Now if you want, you can copy these detail views and start editing them manually. There's quite a lot of adjusting to get the views right, but I hope this video will help you to get on track and get you started. 